Welcome everyone, Damien here. Um, just going to show you a quick technique that I learned um, quite a few years ago now involving a splash with the heel. And um, very, very simple to do. Very cool when incorporated into um, your playing. Uh, essentially what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get the sound of an open hi-hat being hit but without using a stick to do it. Um, so essentially this sort of thing. So that might be a real groovy, dancey kind of vibe that we want to have going on in our beats, but we may not have a hand free to get over there to do it. Maybe we're playing on a floor tom or a ride or something else. So we can actually do this with our foot. Now, some people who do this kind of splash with the front of their foot, like, like that, I tend to do it a little bit differently. I uh, sort of kick with the ball of my heel and then, and then come down onto the pedal as like a second phase. And um, this will be played usually as alternating eighth notes. So if you were to open on the quarter note count, so if you were counting one, two, three, four, you'd open on the one, close on the end, open on the two, close on the end, etc., etc. So it would sound like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and And of course you can play that inverted as well, where the, the open splash on the hi-hat would happen, or would occur on the and rather than on the quarter note. So that would be one, open, two, open, three, open, four, open, which would sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two. So once you get the idea of this, this heel splashing motion, this back and forth swiveling of the foot, it's actually quite easy to incorporate it in with a beat. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll play it, um, first of all, on the ride, and I'll start with a basic rock beat, and then I'll throw the open hi-hat in on the quarter note, so opening on the quarter note, and then I'll play it on the, um, on the upbeats, so opening on the ands of those counts. You can see that it just adds a, a, a dancey vibe to the beats that you're playing. So um, being that I play a lot of country stuff, you could also incorporate this into um, country beats and, and that sort of thing. So. Also very, very good for a disco vibe, having that, that upbeat on the and, 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 and very sort of reminiscent of the disco era. Uh, this sounds even better when you're using it on toms because it helps to give a little bit of uh, liveliness and a little bit of openness uh, to an otherwise, you know, it's sometimes a little bit dull sounding tom beat. Um, so it just brightens things up a little bit. It's also a very, very good balance exercise for your feet because of course you're using both feet uh, playing sort of uh, opposing patterns there. So very, very good for your balance, very good for your coordination. So give it a shot and let me know how you go.